John Portman, the architect and developer who revolutionized hotel designs with soaring futuristic atriums, built commercial towers that revitalized the downtowns of decaying post-war American cities and transformed Asian skylines from Shanghai to Mumbai, died on Friday in Atlanta. He was 93. M. R. Portman's family announced his death. No cause was given. One of the world's best known and most influential architects, M. R. Portman, over a half century, redefined urban landscapes in the United States. He built the Peachtree Center in Atlanta, the Embarcadero Center in San Francisco, the Renaissance Center in Detroit, and scores of hotel, office, and retail complexes in New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Houston, Fort Worth, San Diego, and other cities. His buildings often evoked oohs and ahs from the public, but were not always a hit with critics, who called them concrete islands, self-contained cities within cities serving their patrons yet insular, even forbidding to outsiders. But by combining architectural talents with the savvy of a real estate entrepreneur, Mr. Portman was hugely successful and a rarity among contemporaries, both an artist and a tough businessman. In the 1960s and 70s, his signature hotels, skyscrapers with escarpment atriums, cantilevered balconies overlooking interiors big enough to contain the Statue of Liberty, whooshing glass elevators, waterfalls, hanging gardens, and revolving rooftop restaurants, offered thrilling antidotes to the standard lot of dreary hotel lobbies, claustrophobic box elevators, and shotgun corridors lined with cells for the inmates. An Atlanta maverick who defied architects' ethics codes by plunging into real estate development, Mr. Portman, who had no money to start with, made and lost millions of dollars co-financing many of his own projects. From the 1980s on, he designed and built hotels, retail marts, and office towers in China, South Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, and India, and more complexes in Europe, the Middle East, and the United States. As they proliferated in the United States, Mr. Portman's atrium hotels, many built for the Hyatt Corporation, were widely imitated by other architects who sought to capitalize on the dizzying exhilaration, some called it terror, of patrons soaring 50 stories in a Buck Rogers glass capsule, or dining under the stars as the city moved in a circle with the galactic night. You did not even have to rent a room. There were setbacks for the atrium concept. The 40-story Hyatt Regency Kansas City, designed by three local architects with an atrium imitating Mr. Portman's, was the scene of a collapse of two aerial walkways in 1981 during a dance competition in the lobby. The collapse killed 114 people and injured 216 others in one of the nation's deadliest structural failures. By the late 1980s, with atriums in the Westin Bonaventure in Los Angeles, the Hyatt Regency in San Francisco, the Marriott Marquis in New York and dozens of others, the design was so common that some motels had what passed for atriums. Travelers were no longer impressed, and critics said Mr. 